Friday in October. Day two of Amazon Prime Day is underway as the retailer and its rivals offer massive discounts to online shoppers. And along with those great deals comes the downside. Scammers just waiting to trick you and take your money. And they work to make it easy to fall for. Uh, joining us now to talk about this is Awana Schneider, the Director of Media Services for the Better Business Bureau. Awana, thank you so much for joining us today. Describe how these scams work. Thank you for having me. So yes, a lot of people uh, will probably be trying to make a lot of purchases on Amazon today, and we would like to uh, make everybody aware of a few scams. And first of all, if you get text messages saying that you need to update your Amazon information just by clicking a link, be really skeptical, don't click on that. You can make all the changes you need from within your Amazon account. And then if you feel like something just doesn't sit right with you when you receive an email from somebody posing as an Amazon employee, again, you can, uh, of course, report that to Amazon. What specifically should people be looking out for? And I understand they even like use your BBB phone number to trick people. Yes, to try to give a little more credibility to their scam, they're actually spoofing the BBB's phone number. So when you do receive a call from these scammers, it shows up like you're receiving a call from us and they're telling you that they have a partnership with us and that all you need to do really is verify personal information or pay for fees and things like that. And when you try to do that, what happens is you actually give your money to a scammer, especially if you use wire transfers or debit cards, that money is virtually untraceable. Is there a specific red flag that will let people know that this isn't right? Yes, so everything that you receive from anybody that is not uh, from a, an email address that ends in Amazon.com should be a very big red flag. If it says one, two, three, at shopping online or you know something that doesn't seem familiar, I would say just don't engage with it. If there are any problems with your Amazon account, they should probably not notify you within your account. So that shouldn't really happen at all. Gotcha. Okay. So if someone does fall for this, what do they do then? If you do get scammed, there are a few things to do. But first of all, please keep this in mind. React as fast as you possibly can. Call the authorities. And uh, you can actually go to ic3.gov and report fraud, or you can also uh, file a complaint with the Better Business Bureau. You can go to bbb.org slash scam tracker and uh, put all the information there. We also have a heat map to let you know about all the scams going on in the area. So that's a very good resource. Again, be really, really safe today and don't believe every text message you get or email that might be coming in, into your inbox. And I assume this isn't just a prime day problem. This happens all the time. Yes, and you know, sometimes you get that text message that says you have an Amazon package coming your way. Just click here to see, yeah. you know, where it is and to just track it. And when you do that, two things could happen. Either nothing really happens you just get a, a, a bogus landing page and you're like oh that's fine and you could be downloading a malware into your computer or right. when you click on it it takes you to a page that at, that's actually asking you for your personal information right so right. in both cases do not engage at all if you suspect that you may have downloaded malware into your computer take your device to a place that you know for sure is going to okay. take good care of it there are so many good computer repair um, places around here, you can really trust them. Okay, great advice. Thank you so much. Director of Media Services, Awanda Schneider with the BBB. We appreciate you taking time and shedding some light on this situation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Iowa's News First at Four, we'll be right back.